Hey, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Moon River or the MOVR token. This is the daily chart on TradingView from the KuCoin exchange. I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor. You should do your own research before investing money into crypto. Now, if you haven't seen the previous update, make sure to check out the link in the top right hand side of your corner. Uh, watch that before watching this one so that you have more context. Now, jumping into the daily chart. So, obviously, you can see that we have a beautiful uptrend here. We're bouncing off the 20 EMA multiple times, making higher lows and higher highs, which is very bullish. Now, it was important for us to get above this light blue um, resistance zone over here because this was our bottom here. Then we got rejected from that zone a couple of times. So that indicated that this zone is a strong resistance. So after that, once we bounced off the EMAs, uh, the 20 EMA, we did get rejected from that zone again. So that's around about $77 to $73. So we got rejected from that zone, got rejected from the 55 EMA as well, got sent back down to the 20. Healthy back test of support. You could have entered here from the 20 EMA right now. Hold on a second. From the 20 EMA, you were up around about 50%. So that was a great trade, in my opinion. If you had the Fibonacci retracement set up like I had from the last video, and if you waited for a back test of support of the 20 EMA. So right now we're above the 55, which is very bullish. Uh, the 20 is curling up for that bullish cross. So once that bullish cross occurs on the daily chart, that is a bullish, bullish signal, and that is your uh, buy signal, essentially, because obviously you could have bought in here, right? But you didn't know how far you were, how, how low you were, you were actually going to go, right? So you could have gone lower from here. But right now, since you're flipping bullish, since Bitcoin is trying to attack $50,000 and you get these bullish crosses on your charts you know that will indicate that you're probably flipping bullish and you are flipping bullish and this means that there is a lot more potential for you to make profit but here the risk was higher but the reward was higher as well so that's why i like to buy when everything is down uh, so low and actually i wouldn't say the risk is that high because you're actually having more risk. You, you actually have more risk here because from here you can go back down, right? But here, there's not, you know, the lower you go, you know, the less, uh, the less the price or the lower the price, you know, that means there are a lot less sellers. And once those sellers are no more, there is um, no one to sell and there's no one to sell to, the price can't go any lower, right? So at some point, it's just going to reverse. For Moon River, it was here off the 1.618 that I showed you because that was the target once we lost the first Fib level here. So the 1.618, great entry for Moon River. Uh, let's just see what are the gains from that zone. So that's around about 103%. So great, great entries off the 1.618. Obviously, we were in this falling wedge. Our target was around here at around about $75. We got to that target, back tested the 20 MA, and right now we even had a wick all the way to the 0 0.382. But right now we're failing to close a candle above the 0 0.618, which is the golden ratio, and that is going to be our important level to break through. So once you break through the golden ratio here, you are pretty much set to retrace to that swing high and we can set up a different Fibonacci retracement with the targets to the upside because you can see the targets are to the downside in this particular Fibonacci retracement because we haven't fully flipped to the bullish uh, but if I zoom out you can see that we are above the 55 EMA and the last time that was the case was back in November before everything crashed so this is bullish we're we're above the 55, waiting for the bullish cross. Let's check the daily RSI here. So as you can see, we did break through this, right? We had a back test of support March 17th, a back test of support of, of this resistance, which was a great entry. And then from there, you went up. 
and you're getting closer to the overbought you know if you start doing something like this on the rsi in the overbought then you know you can start taking some profits here because it's really overbought you're most definitely going to have an opportunity to buy back in lower over here once the rsi starts you know retracing back down so keep in mind black swan events any you know sudden news fud you know can crash the prices real hard so you have to be prepared with some fiat at all times so basically this was a falling wedge on the daily rsi and we managed to break out of it to the upside and obviously right now we're on our way to the overbought so right now if you're looking to buy moon river i would wait for a bounce off the one fibonacci level here at 67 or 68 dollars right this is your support level because expecting it to go lower below the 20 ema right now isn't an option for me obviously if it does you know buy lower but for now i don't see that happening unless bitcoin does something crazy bearish because we're holding the 20 ema as support we are in a perfect uptrend i do think from here we are going to be on a steady way to previous all-time highs now let's jump into uh the binance chart now jumping into the weekly chart here so the 20 ma on the weekly chart just barely got added to the chart because you know you barely have more than 20 weekly candles so what is happening over here obviously since the listing on binance over here we've been having a uh a downtrend obviously because you're making lower lows and lower highs over here so Potentially, this over here is our bottom for now. So if you see a capitulation, look for buy-ins above $44, $45, $50. Those are great entry uh, points for Moon River. Now you can see that we need to get through this area over here. I'm going to show you in a second. So this green rectangle represents a resistance zone that you need to get through because on the weekly chart you've been rejected from this zone over here you did have some wicks to the upside but you know generally you failed to get through the zone once you were retracing from this swing low over here so yeah 95 dollars is your uh resistance zone that you want to break through back test as support attack the swing high here because as you can see we have a bit of a different uh, a bit of a different fibonacci retracement over here uh so the here the swing high was set on february 7th and the swing low basically is here the march low so we need to break through the first fib level back test that as support potentially from there you're going to have a wick all the way back down to the 786 so have some buy orders ready and set to go but after breaking through the first fib level we are looking at the 1.618 at 211 dollars so that's something to keep an eye on so if you want to enter off the let's say we have a move back down to the 0.5 here at 71 dollars uh so that's a 195 percent to the one to, to the 1.618 basically so that is a great trade in my opinion from where we are right now and we are below the 0.618 here um that's a 155 percent trade so moon river right now is undervalued i do think we're gonna get to those numbers and i do think we're gonna break new all-time highs once bitcoin starts doing so as well now let's jump into the oscillators obviously literally no data on the oscillators so uh, we're gonna go back into uh, the daily chart here to take a look at the macd and the stochastic rsi all right so the stochastic is in the overbought right now as you can see so basically what you could do if you want to enter right now is you wait until the stochastic starts doing something like this and gets oversold so when it is below the index of 20 that is when the stochastic rsi is oversold and that means it is good to enter because a lot of people have been selling the price is likely to bounce up relatively soon so here the rsi was in the oversold march 13th so that was a great entry because as you can see from there we have had an enormous recovery and if we jump into the macd over here you can see that you did have a bullish cross here march 15th uh, which confirmed the uptrend and if you got in at this bullish cross 
uh, you are in profits, obviously. We're getting above the histogram here. You know, things are looking good for Moon River, in my opinion, right now. So, like I said, look for support off the 20 EMA, all right? Anything below 50, anything below 70, I, I think is a treat for Moon River. So, if we do see a pullback, you have 70 two dollars basically you have 64 dollars here and you have 55 dollars at the 0 0.236 and obviously the bottom here would be 44 dollars but i don't think we're gonna go that low even if we did you know that would be a great double bottom pattern here as you can see but i don't think that is going to happen but that is pretty much it guys if i missed out anything on the charts please let me know down below in the comment section i'm gonna give you some resistance uh some resistances over here basically so 151 173 116 and 210 is our 1.618 target after we break through the first fiblo so have these targets up you know look uh for what suits you best right and if you have any questions anything to add regarding the charts let me know down below in the comment section I'm going to catch you in the next one. Thank you for watching, guys. Stay safe and stay healthy. Goodbye.